Hello, I'm Neeraj. Today I will discuss about a very important topic that is identifying the human originality. Actually, what happened due to the evolution of large language models, people started flooding everywhere with artificially generated text. So, identifying the uh, actual human original became a challenging task due to this. Even I faced a lot of issues due to this. So, I decided to go through some initial demonstrations how we can capture that whether the text is first either it is human original generated fully by human generated by large language models or artificial intelligence. Third, actually generated by artificial intelligence but some clever human applied a lot of paraphrasing on the top of it so that it will look like a human generated or human original but it is actually paraphrased text or artificially generated text. So let us go through it one by one. So I had developed one system and it is working very good for me. I tested on a lot of documents. So let us go through that how this algorithm is actually working. And after that I will uh, demonstrate the code also and I will provide the link for the code uh, in the description box. So you can test also. So first of all we will take the input text and then apply the structural feature extraction and then LLM based meta classification system. So in the case of structural feature extractions first of all we will calculate the semantic consistency for the text then structural complexity for the text, then linguistic entropy for the text and then calculate the aggregate statistical score. And uh, with the score we have, we will also apply that uh, uh, some adaptive resolving and then we will apply the meta LLM or LLM meta classification. Here we are considering LLM as a judge and uh, for the current scenarios I just use three different kinds of prompts to guess first uh, press prompt is directly for judgment like give the information that whether it is LLM generated or uh, human generated second is like some analysis kind of framing and third is some contextual guess kind of thing so in a three different ways I try to guess whether uh, the text is uh, LLM generated or human generated so we get three answers then take the aggregate results and then calculate the hybrid scoring. Now the hybrid scoring if it is greater than some threshold then final prediction says that okay it is AI generated text. If it is less than that it says that it is human generated text. But again some scenarios are there we find that actually generated text got paraphrased and it is tough to identify that whether it is human generated or machine generated or probably it will be a machine generated text but paraphrased to look like human generated. So in that case to capture such scenarios I had made some adversarial check, simple adversarial check system. So if uh, differences will be very high then it will show some adversarial warning. If differences is low then it will not uh, go for any adversarial warning. And in this case you can just uh, accept this information. So let us start. So first of all, we will go for a statistical feature extraction, semantic consistency. So what is the purpose of this semantic consistency? So it measures how consistently the idea or meaning flows across the text. text. So actually what happens, the LLM and chat GPT generally is, are very smooth in this way. Means uh, it keeps the topic transitions very smooth. But in a human case, it, you will find ups and downs in the, the transition. So how we can capture this? First, split the text into paragraph or logical chunks. Get a vector for each chunks. You can use any sentence transformer, but transverse based uh, sentence embedding or anything. And after that, compute the cosine similarity between consecutive chunks and then take the average. For example, suppose we have a three paraphrase uh, paragraphs here, and we get the embeddings e1, e2, e3. Then uh, we can calculate like this similarity between 1, 2 and 2, 3 then take the average. So this is one of the way you can use some different way also and uh, uh, I found that this is working fine for uh, the current setting. 
The second part is structural complexity. Structural complexity is also a simple measure here. The purpose is to measure the diversity in the sentence length. This is very simple. And the complexity. Women generally uh, shows a lot of diversity in the sentence length. So, how we can identify? Break the text into sentences, calculate the average length and then calculate the variance, the ratio of sentences longer than the threshold and the weighted sum means uh, you can get the length related complete analysis. For example, three sentences are there, first sentence three words, second sentence 19 words, third sentence two words, here you can see the length, average length is this, variance you can get and then uh, number of uh, fractions that are longer than 10 words, so you can get that 1 by 3 and similarly structural score generally what happens for uh, women like text it that kind of structural score will be a little higher side because uh, you will find a lot of variations in a human generated text okay so now go to the linguistic entropy so linguistic entropy is also very important generally what happens in the uh, you can find in a previous literatures that for uh, summarization evaluation for question answering evaluations or such kind of text based evaluations we consider one gram two gram or three gram words uh, for that purpose. So similarly, here we use the same kind of strategy and measure the unpredictability and diversity of the word phrase usage. Generally, LMS has a less entropy and human introduce more or unique or rare patterns, so entropy will be higher side. Tokenize the sentence, compute the enigram, bigram, digram, entropy. For example, suppose we have a three sentences. So the calculation strategy is like calculate the Entropy for each gram, 1 gram, 2 gram and 3 gram, then calculate the average. This is very simple calculation strategy, but it is effective and working. After that, we take the statist uh, means aggregate uh, statistical probability just by combining all three. But uh, to make it like uh, work like uh, some decision making things, uh, we can pass it through some sigmoid normalized format. So here you can find the sigmoid normalized format. So here low probability means likely human. Now the second part is LLM meta classification with self consistency voting. So here you can see that here we I have used the LLM as a judge. So as I discussed earlier also, three different kind of prompts I have used to check whether the sentence is uh, AI generated, machine human generated, or paraphrased. So the first type of prompt is so this is a sentence, our input sentence. Modern AI systems are designed to mimic the human conversations, making it challenging to distinguish between human and machine generated responses. So this is text. So our prompt is, first prompt is like, do you think this was written by human or by an AI assistant like chat GPT, Lama 3, you can uh, give any number of uh, such kind of uh, large language models name that you have a doubt about. So please respond with, so I wanted three types of response. First, whether it is human written or AI, what is the probability? Suppose it is human written, then what is the probability? And then explanations, why must, uh, means uh, LLM thinks that it is a human written or it is machine written. So in this case, the output is like uh, the machine uh, Large language model says that it is AI generated. Probability is 0 0.85. And explanation it gives like a par, it, uh, the phrasing is neutral, concise, and lack, lacks personal context, which is common for AI generated outputs. So they catched one of the very important aspects about this text. Now the second prompt is like, Read the following sample and estimate if it was written by a person or a language model like chat, GPT, Lama. Again, we want three kind of reply. Answer, like whether it is human or AI generated, give the probability, score and give the explanation also. So here the explanation, uh, answer is like, it says the AI generated, probability 0 0.7, the explanation it gives like the sentence constructions and objective tones are typically, are typical of AI outputs. So it matches with the AI style. 
third prompt is which is a contextual guess so given these pages tell me if it is most likely ai or human generated provide your guess with a probability under 0 to 1 and your main reason so again it says that now here llm got confused it says that it is human generated with low probability they explain like there are some nuance and ambiguity in the phrasing so we will go for voting so voting is like two out of three classes says ai so majority vote is for ai so this means uh, this text, text is generated by ai so average probability is 0 0.65 now go to the next page decision making so first is hybrid scoring take this score take this score and apply the hybrid scoring so here we use some uh, hyperparameter alpha and beta to provide that, that uh, how much weight we will give to this and how much we give weight we will give to this that we can learn and then apply some adaptive thresholding also uh, so actually instead of fixed cutoff uh, and uh, thresholds uh, we can apply some adaptive thresholding like uh, we can decide based on the situations like what may be the threshold so in this case we can take the decisions like if the combined score is greater than threshold then we can classify it like ai generated else it is human generated so in the current scenario what is happening so path will go like this this like and this so path is like uh, so 0 0.08 is like statistical average score is 0 0.08 and llm average probability is 0 so statistically you already know that we have calculated this and uh, llm is like 0 0.65 suppose we take alpha is equal to 0 0.5 beta is equal to 0 0.5 threshold is equal to 0 0.7 then we got combined score like 0 0.365 so it is in less than threshold this means like it is a human generated now let us go for adversarial check so adversarial check says that uh, now suppose uh, um, Edward, for adversarial check we consider some scenarios what happens several times uh, either we use the machine generated text and apply a lot of paraphrasing on the top of it so that it will look like a human generated sometimes generally what we do uh, we generate the text and apply the paraphrasing on the top of it so that it looks better so to catch this kind of gray area gray area type of text uh, we use this adversarial disagreement warning so in this case suppose our statistical feature says that a statistical feature score is 0 0.9 means ai generated but llm says likely human average probability less than 0 0.5 this means code will issue some adversarial warning like it is paraphrased it is actually ai generated but paraphrased and uh, if it is uh, no such kind of adversarial differences are there then there will be no adversarial warning so this is the way the system is actually working now i will show you how the code is working for it so i have uh, written the code i will provide this code through description box so i have used the grok library for this code and uh, you can generate free api key by using grok library and after that as the, i discussed like we split the paragraph sentences then identify the complex sentence ratio then entropy then we can get those entropy scores and then apply the semantic consistency score structural complexity score linguistic entropy score then the combined score for a structural structural um, features you will get the structural features combined scores and after that we use the llm meta classification with self consistency so here is the our llm voting prompt same type of things i had applied do you think that this was written by human or ai second i already discussed this in ppt so same thing is written here so llm response parse so answer match probability match so this is the text that is written it will give three outputs like uh, llm prediction human written or not 
or AI retained probability and explanation. That three things I already discussed in the PPT. And after that, uh, based on the detection and self consistency score, it will provide that consistency score also. Majority and average voting. Based on that, it will show that. Uh, and then again, there is a robust and hybrid ensemble detection. So adaptive thresholding. Here, here 0.7 base. But based on this formula, we can make some changes also. And then, uh, like uh, like I discussed in the last page, like adversarial disagreement warning. So we calculate the combined score and then identify the result. So in this case, suppose we say that three sentences. This is a human written. This is AI generated. This is paraphrased AI. Paraphrased AI means try to fool the system. Its main aim, aim is to try to fool the system. So three and we have used the, this kind of sentence transformer uh, that is available on a Grok website also. And sorry, this is available through sentence transformer. So I have used this simple sentence transformer. And then based on the after running, if you run this code, uh, you will get the following output. So after running, we find the output like this. For a sample one, the final prediction is uh, written by human. Combined score is 0 0.25, statistical score is this. And then LLM voting details are also there. Prompt 1, 2, 3 related informations are also there. Adaptive threshold used is 0 0.7. For sample 2, final prediction is human. And sample 3, the final prediction is human. Actually, with the use of LAMA 3, we got little poor score. But when we run it uh, the same system through chat AI, chat GPT version 4.0, uh, we got correct identification of all three. Because uh, we have used lower side model, just use LAMA 3, 8 billion parameter system model. So thanks for watching.